It's too bad this History Channel clip didn't define the term sweated him out. I guess they mean torture. Rifles and shotguns were at first seen as too cumbersome. Instead, gangsters of the day wanted a gun with a lot of stopping power that could still fit in the palm of their hand. The answer, two automatic pistols, the 45 and the Super 38. Both were large handguns. Both could kill a man where he stood. It's said that a gangster named Leslie Homer gave the Super 38 its greatest endorsement while being interrogated by police in Racine, Wisconsin. Racine Police Department had lost one of its members to the John Dillinger gang, and any time that they encountered a member of that gang, they gave him their undivided attention, as good cops will. Late in 1933, they sacked up Leslie Homer, who was a runner for the Dillinger gang, took him downtown and sweated him. And the words from Homer spilled out into newspapers and police stations all over the country. And one of the things he said was that if you want to give your coppers an even break, you need to get them one of those new Super 38 guns. A gun of that type will blow a hole in any bulletproof vest made. But even high-powered handguns required accuracy. In the run-and-gun style of the gangsters, there was little time to take aim. 